Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I'm going to show you this picture. You see this picture? That is me sitting with my husband down in the uh, fellowship hall at church. That picture was taken about 13 years ago. Yeah. Mwah. That's my man. It's my late husband. You know what I admired about him? And we all could learn a little bit from that. He presented his body a living sacrifice unto God. There were many times he had the opportunity to blame me, criticize me, put me down. But what he ended up doing instead was showing patience, understanding, and mercy. And total respect. So instead of uh, making everything my fault, there were many, many, many times, countless times, where that manly man would look at me. Well, he was blind, but he'd look toward me. And he would say, baby, you know what? I was wrong about that. I'm sorry. Just like that. He was man enough to apologize. Men, I ask you, are you man enough to apologize? Or is that the woman's job to bow and pay homage to you? Because it takes a real man to be humble. Even when they don't have to. It may not have been either one of your faults. But for him to be willing, think about it. That's what you call a reasonable person. A person you can, you can discuss something with. You can reason something out and come out with a greater solution that benefits both parties. You can't do that if it's, if you didn't make me do that, that's why you get on my doggone nerves. I'm being nice with the words. That's why you get on my doggone nerves. I don't understand why you always got to, and you always got, it's, it's you. It's you. This ain't, that ain't the problem. The problem is you. Oh. You really think that glorifies God? Do you think that's edifying? That's not edifying. That's what you call tearing people down. That's not God's way. That is not a fruit of the Holy Spirit. That is your flesh. And yes, it stinks. Money's funny. Bill's having a hard time getting paid. And you don't know what's wrong. Why don't she get up off her lazy butt and get another job? Well, what are you doing? What are you doing? Y'all both should be out there trying to do something. Have you taken time to pray with her on one accord to God? Or you just steadily want to point the finger at her and make her the, the fall guy and tell her if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in this mess. Both y'all did the dance. So don't put it on her. Take the blame yourself. Both y'all acknowledge the part you played in the situation. Sit down and figure out now how can you make it better without pointing the finger at either one. There are so many better ways to deal with problems. I want you to think about it. I'm not going to keep talking because I know some people have a way that they discuss things and they, they, they just like to argue. And some of you just like to argue. But that is not edifying. That doesn't build people up. It doesn't make people feel better. Nasty things get said in arguments. That's why the Bible wants you to have self-control. That's why God wants you to share the fruits of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't want you tearing each other down, hurting each other's feelings. That's not God's way. And that's not by His Spirit. All right. I'm going to leave you with that for a minute. And I'll be back. <laughs>